What's up guys, welcome to Town & Country TV. Today we have the 2017 Mustang GT in both the base model and the premium package. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what makes the premium worth 4,000 more and what you actually get on the base versus the premium. So let's go ahead and start with the base model, which is the yellow one right here. Beautiful car with the black accent package. The base model starts at about 33,195 and of course only goes up from there. That is of course the starting price before destination delivery and once you start adding on stuff, it can get up there. The MSRP on this one is about right over 36,000 and of course that's before discounts and rebates, but still uh, it can get up there for the base model Mustang. So when you consider the GT base model, it's gonna come with everything the EcoBoost Mustang comes with plus line lock, launch control, and hood vents. So these hood vents are only available on the GT. And of course they are also on the premium, the exact same. So m most of the exterior is gonna be pretty much identical between the two models. The only thing you'll notice is different wheels. Of course, you can get the same wheels on the premium package, but the premium package actually offers a couple of extra wheels that you can see on the screen. So as we look along the back side, you'll notice here, this is the base model, and then on the premium package, you have a rear diffuser, which is this black uh, piece that you can see around there. And you can see the, the red, and also along the side there where it goes. And now this one does not have that. That is a standard feature of the premium package, so uh, that is going to help out with aerodynamics, but pretty much everything else is similar. So now let's check out the interior of the vehicles. Now all Mustangs come with power windows, locks, mirrors, power slide and seat, and a bunch of other nice options. Probably the main difference between the two models is going to be cloth versus leather. So you have the black cloth in this vehicle, the other one's going to have the black leather. Now moving inside, the Mustangs these days come very well equipped. It's got the backup camera, push button start, and like I said before, you're gonna have all the track apps that you can go through your different options and stuff right across there. So that'll be nice. Intelligent access, push button start, and also the sync system. Now, if you want the big screen display, you're gonna have to upgrade to the premium package. You also have the backup camera, which pops up right there on that screen but basically that is your base model. So there's not much to show you. Most of the stuff you know is standard on this vehicle. So I'm gonna show you the premium package and show you what you can get that you can't get on the base model. So MSRP to MSRP, this one is almost 7,000 more than the other one over there. It's got right under 43,000 is MSRP and it's got a lot of features added on. Like I said, base to base on the premium versus the base model is about four grand difference, but this one has $4,880 worth of options, including the GT performance package and stuff like that. But now let's move inside the interior and that's where you'll see most of the differences between the two models. So one thing you'll notice, but we can't show you in the daylight, so I'll put a picture on the screen, is this one has the pony projection light. So it's got a light right up under there there it is and it actually projects a Mustang pony on the ground so it's a really neat feature it's only available on the premium EcoBoost premium and this one the GT premium and so when we look inside you'll see really nice premium trim that you don't get on the base model you got the black leather interior like I was telling you earlier this one has the uh, the door sill that illuminates and it's got the ambient lighting so you can change the color of the vehicle the lights in the vehicle and it really gives you a whole different look depending on how you're feeling now you do have aluminum pedals where the other one just has the standard black ones now looking on the dash you'll notice it's a different kind of a, a material on the dash that's called the satin brush aluminum instrument panel and as you'll notice you got the big screen display this is the sync 3 system only available on the Mustang GT. And one thing I do hate that the base model doesn't offer is Sirius satellite radio. You can't get it no matter what on the base GT. So you, if you want Sirius, you have to upgrade to the premium. So the sound system is also a lot better. Nine speaker sound system with amp. So it's got a really good sound system. Shaker sound system is what it is. And it's a whole lot better than the base GT. Now you will notice the universal garage door opener 
which may not be a big deal to most of you guys, but this is only available on the premium. You'll notice looking down here, the other Mustang does not offer heated and cooled seats. And you'll notice also uh, this mode button. You'll see these switches down here, which uh, look completely different between the two models. You have the steering feel in both Mustangs, but you only have the drive mode in the premium package. So that's gonna allow you to go through your different options, normal, sport plus, track mode, and snow and wet mode that's going to completely change the way the vehicle is going to handle so it is a nice feature to have and uh, a couple of other just random stuff navigation of course only available on the premium package and as an upgrade uh, if you want the navigation and when you consider just some of the luxury items that you no don't normally see on a mustang you do have the rain sensing wipers, adaptive cruise control, and just random features like that that are pretty luxury that you just can't get no matter what. So a couple of other pretty much luxury features that are just over the top. You do have adaptive cruise control that is available only on the premium. Rain sensing wipers, it's got the uh, collision alert, all that kind of stuff, bliss is available and it also has the reverse sensing system which both vehicles have the backup camera but still the sensing system is nice because it warns you no matter what if you're paying attention or not so as far as the mechanical and drivability of the vehicle it's both 5 liter v8 435 horsepower 400 pound feet of torque and i mean as far as that goes both vehicles can get the performance package both vehicles have the same handling same power all that kind of stuff so you're not really sacrifice anything there by getting the base model so we hope you enjoyed this quick informational video between the two different models that was just trying to help you decide which one you really need is it worth the four thousand dollars extra for you to have the premium package i guess it just depends on budget but we'd also like to know what would you have to have out of the mustang for you to pay that extra four thousand dollars to get the premium package i mean the leather would be nice the series would be nice but what else is there so if you enjoyed it please give us a thumbs up it really helps us out also be sure to subscribe and leave some comments down below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching the video. Have a great day.